Hi! Hi everybody! This is Sarah from Serenity and today's video will be the January 2021 forecast for Aries natives. This covers sun, moon, and rising sign for Aries. This is my take on the cards and the energy for January and because of that it may not resonate with everyone and that's okay. If it doesn't resonate with you, no worries, just pass it on by and I do hope you find what you're looking for. In today's video, I will be using the Fairy Oracle Deck by Doreen Virtue. We will be asking these six questions. What are you bringing forward into January? Aries' biggest obstacle for the month of January. Your biggest asset. An overall broad general idea of your home life, your love life, and then the outcome, where you'll be by the end of the month. And let me just say again, this is going to be a broad reading because there's thousands and thousands of Aries natives out there. And if you would like to know more or how this would impact you personally, you can, of course, always book a private reading with me. I'll put my information up here and also in the description box below. So let's get to it. We have quite a few interesting things happening for you, Aries, in January. But let's just see what the cards have to say. Okay, nice, nice. What are you bringing forward into January? In other words, what lessons have you learned in December that are going to aid you and set the stage for January? And the card is peace of mind. So Aries, you're bringing peace of mind forward from December. You've been hustling. You've been work. You've been out there doing your best. And it, it paid off. And it continues to pay off in January. With peace of mind, everything flows easier. When you're not worried about money or your relationships or your health, everything flows and fits together. It's really interesting, too, because peace of mind is really not something you earn because your higher self is already there. It's already in a peaceful state. It can't be earned by doing meditation all the time or always um, showing up for work early or something like that. It's a combination of things. It's stepping up, it's taking charge of your life, and so much more by taking care of business, by taking care of ourselves, by meeting our requirements and then some. And that's what you've done. And work with what you have. Reveal the masterpiece that is basically your life. You were creating and moving forward on some of those goals and doing what needed to be done. And because of it, the result was peace of mind. Things are just flowing for you. And that will be how you begin the year of 2021 feeling very safe and secure because you were able to take care of your family. You were able to earn a little bit of extra money. You were able to break through some obstacles that have been holding you back. And guess what? You're at a much better and more stable situation right now than you were even a few weeks ago. So things are coming forward, things are working for you, and you're going to ride this energy into January. And because of that, things are going to flow much easier. This is going to be a much better month for you than you've had in a long time. Although December wasn't bad. So with that, let's look at your biggest obstacle. <laughs> this is not a surprise, is it, Aries? Detoxification. So with the holidays, and even if you're not a religious person or this isn't your religious holiday, people are more festive during this time. You're feeling good and you're more likely to be a little bit more indulgent during this time. Let's put it that way. And because of that, you're not always eating right. Maybe you're drinking a little bit more than normal or you're staying up later than you normally would. So all of that is kind of building up on you and it's time to really detox. And also remember, it's not just what we consume, eat or drink. It's also the negativity around us. Maybe we're binge watching shows on television or Netflix that maybe just aren't in our highest good. And they're kind of leaving us feeling icky afterwards. So it's time to detox from that as well. Time to detox maybe from overspending too. This is a very important card. And it's also not surprising, is it? You know, you've been overindulging across the board. And that is going to be an issue if you want things to flow better into February. So if you can take care of it now in January, at least by mid-January, maybe put it on your calendar or in your date book that you're going to, you know, maybe detox from alcohol or do um, meatless Mondays this, this month, something like that. 
or limit how much time you spend online or just your screen time in general. All of this will work in your favor. Things will flow a lot better going into February. All in all, your health looks pretty good though. It's just, if you keep on at this rate, then you probably will be likely to get a cold or maybe an upper respiratory problem in February because the energy is shifting so rapidly now. So yeah, that is your biggest obstacle. You know you need to do it, so just commit to it and just bite the bullet and do it, Aries, okay? Your biggest asset for the month is, ah, being honest with yourself. And this is a good card in a good placement because it's very true, isn't it? When we can honestly look at the situation, whether it's our work schedule or whether our romantic relationships and be honest with ourselves, then everything becomes clear and we get a good idea of what we need to do. And things have been very up and down for you in 2020, but hey, they've been up and down for everybody. You though have actually weathered the storm pretty well and you've been pretty consistent in moving forward. It's not as fast as you would like, no, but you are moving forward. Like I say, December was a great month for you and it's only gonna get better in 2021. It's gonna take a little bit of perseverance and a little bit of strategy though to get you to where you wanna be. And the way that this all comes together is by being honest with yourself about what's working and what's not working. And then from there, create your plan. But yeah, all in all, I think you really have a good handle on that, on what's working and what's not, and what you want out of life right now. 2020 was a really informative time for you because it really shined a light on what wasn't working in your life. And you made the changes. Because even your goals, your personality, everything has changed over the course of 2020. So what you were shooting for last year probably is insequential now because you have a new outlook. So that's going to be a major factor for the entire year. And I do hope to have the Aries overall forecast done within the next probably 10 days or so. So if you haven't already, be sure and subscribe so you don't miss that video. Okay, your next card will be your home life. Oh, nice, nice, financial flow. And this is not surprising either because the money is coming in. You did the work though. You know, you did what you were supposed to do. You signed up for those programs. You went ahead and you applied for that job. You did what needed to happen and now you're reaping the benefits. So your home life is flowing much smoother because you're not stressing about money and you're not worried so much about the future either because this money is flowing and you know it's not gonna stop next week. Home life is much better, everybody's getting along better. And overall, December was a very adventurous time for you. January is going to be faster paced even than December. And I know you're thinking, yeah, there's no way, but guess what? It is. But it's all gonna be fun things that you want to do as opposed to maybe chores. Your home life looks good, you're getting along better with your family and your partners, you don't have that stress, and things are flowing good for you in January. So speaking of that, let's pull the next card which is your love life. Oh, very nice too. Positive expectations. So single Aries, I think the stage is being set right now. I think you probably are already speaking with somebody online or maybe flirting a little bit with a coworker and things are, are good. Things are good, just don't rush things. And I know Aries, being a fire sign, you wanna just jump out there and ask that person to coffee or you know make a plan to talk to them a little bit more, but it's just like, take it slow. Take it slow and enjoy it. Also for a partnered, or committed Aries, things are going very good for you as well. With the money balancing your home life, a lot of that stress has been lifted and you're feeling very positive. You're feeling like the problems from the past really got sorted in September, October, November of 2020. And so you and your partner came to a better understanding about maybe even what you really want to achieve out of life. I mean, these were some big issues you discussed, but because you did and you shone the light on this, it's better. It's so much better. All in all, this looks like your home life is going to be very positive too. So guess what? We have nothing but positive cards for you. At this point, before we look at the outcome, just to recap a little bit, the most challenging card is your obstacle and that's detoxing and you know you need to do that. And it's it's not a horrible card in a horrible placement either. So you've got financial flow, you've got money coming in, you've got positive expectations with your relationships, your health is good, everything is flowing for you. This is going to be a good month. 
At the end of, of January, though, we begin a Mercury retrograde in Aquarius. And Aquarius energy is not really compatible with Aries energy because it's just, you know, apples and Volkswagens. It's just not compatible. Where will you end the month? So let's pull the last card, which is the final outcome or the outcome for January. Oh, nice. Very nice. Higher consciousness. So basically, at the end of the month, you're going to be receiving guidance from your higher self and the universe. You're going to be leveling up psychically, and you can tap into this higher wisdom. The tricky part is doing it <laughs> and actually making the effort to tap into this energy. But yeah, all in all, I mean, this is a great card. At this point, it looks like you've achieved a lot in January, and you can kind of sit back a little bit and relax. The bigger projects, hopefully you, you finish them before Mercury Retrograde starts at the end of the month. You can easily then just ride the wave through February of all the hard work that you did even in December because it is continuing to pay off. So yeah, this is going to be one of the better months for you, probably better than you've seen in a while. Although December, like I said, wasn't bad either. So you're starting the month out on a very good note. So I hope you enjoyed this little mini reading. If you did, be sure and like it and let me know in the comments section below too. Once again, guys, thank you so much for being a part of the Serenity family, and I'll see you for the next video. Reiki blessings. Bye-bye.